Okay. So we're back. We're doing boots. So we've got the common one first. Increase your sprint speed by 10%. Let's see if that's actually noticeable. Yep, okay, it's noticeable. And you get the little speed lines to indicate that you're moving faster than you normally would too. It's cool. Speed lines, equip, boom. It's immediately, immediate. What's next? Rubber boots, puddles no, do no damage with poison. Or do no damage to you rather. Increase your movement speed without crouching by 50%. That's a fun one. Let's go grab the, uh, let's go grab a poison gauntlet. Get rid of that. Puddle. Run through it. Hey, look at that. Nothing. But, again, um, that still hurts because of the flaming aspect. So the poison won't get you while you got these boots on, but the flames will. The... The lightning, same deal. The shock and the stun will still affect you, but the poison won't. Matter of fact, let's do this. Okay, so that's poison gas, poison cloud but you're breathing in, so you're still going to take damage from that. It's only the puddles that don't affect you. Boots of the mouse. Matter of fact... Hold on. Crunch. Control, left control rather. Move forward. Let's see how... Eh, my fingers... And then equip. You know, I'm going to be honest, I don't really notice a difference. But they do reduce movement uh, movement noise also. You do still make no- wait. I actually have- I'm not wearing my headphones right now. And I have the uh, speaker sound turned down, so it's quiet, because I didn't- there's no need for me to wear them. I'm just in a practice area. So I, I'll be able to tell later how much quieter, if at all. So I'm going to try this again, just for my own personal curiosity. Okay, so it is noticeable. It's just not a lot. Not a lot faster. Because you're still crouching. Boots of the mouse. Spike boots, no longer slip on ice. This is a really good one. If you're going up against ice people or you're using ice yourself. Switch to that. Dun 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 dun. No slippage. Bam banana. Okay. Super super quick. That's the end of the. Uncommons, now we go to the rares. Grounding boots. Immune to electric shock. Stun. I'm going to put this... Oh, okay. Take that, move this out. Put this in. Leave the fire. Excuse me, move that. Go to the flame, I'm going to go grab the electricity one. Boots the cat. Higher velocity with me jumping. Not damn it. Get out of here. Boots of the cat. God damn it. Grounding boots. Okay. So I'm gonna ground new boots. And I wanna use Um, the frost specifically, 
to have something for the lightning to attach to so that it sustains. And as you can see, I am slipping and sliding because I'm wearing the anti-lightning boots. But I'm not taking shock damage. But again, this won't protect me from uh, the thunderstorm itself. Because that'll hit me in places other than my feet. And, um... I believe I tested this one before. The cat boots? Boots of the cat? Cat? Um, I believe that was here. And... And then... Put those on, and... Yep. Looks like it gave me jump height also. So it gives you more height and therefore more Yeah, it is noticeable. More distance also. So I'm done with the blues. Yep. Boots of the scribe. Using a rune increases sprint speed by 25% for 7 seconds. Interesting. Normal sprint speed. And then I will blink. Interesting. And then you go back to normal speed. That's pretty good. That I can see that being very useful as a, as a utility. As a travel utility. Behemoth boots immune to stun, electricity, poison, puddles, poison puddles, and no longer slip on ice. Boots of the sprinting. Boots of sprinting increase your sprint speed by 25% all the time. Similar to the one we just tried, Boots of the Scribe, except there's no cooldown, there's no duration limit, there's no qualifier to make it activate. It's just, it just becomes a passive. Snowfall. Decrease effects of gravity by 75%. I believe this affects jump height, specifically. More so than jump velocity. More so than boots of the cat. So I'm going to go back over here. Actually, I can do it right here. One, two, no slippage. And I'm going to jump back real quick. Let's see if the thunderstorm also hit. Nope, oh, okay. Nope, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So you will die from the thunderstorm with the behemoth boots on. So don't. One. Four, what are these? Jump height. Mm. Decrease the effect of gravity by 75%. Okay, I see. So you get a little higher. You both ascend and descend a little slower. It's hard to tell if you ascend slower because you're going... It appears you're going higher up in the same amount of time. Mm. You're definitely getting higher. Hmm. It's kind of hard to pay attention to, I believe, this brick, or like right in between these two bricks right there. I think that's where my thingy is uh, lining up. Okay, it's lining up here. Shit. I'm gonna press one. There you go. Okay, so you get the same jump height. It's just slower. Okay. You get the same jump height, it's just that you move through the air slower. 
both up. Um, I don't know if it's up though. It definitely down. Definitely on the way down. You come down slower. Well, I wouldn't use them. What else do we got? Boost sprinting. I already looked at those. There we go. Which is leaping allows you to jump three times instead of two and increases your jump velocity so you go further. And Okay, so the velocity makes you go higher and further. The gravity one just makes you come down slower. Okay, so grab those. I'm sorry, what? No, I grabbed the wrong ones. I grabbed the padded shoes. See, I don't like the way this is done. I didn't... Whatever. Phasing boots. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go up here. Take a look. Your movement makes no noise with the padded shoes at all. So you can totally sneak up on people. Now it's just movement. If you use an ability, they can still hear you. Shoot one past him. Nope, shoot one past him. And shot that. He's not taking DPS. Cake is a lie. But with the padded shoes, you make no noise when you sprint. Ooh. Boots of leaping. One, two, three. And you jump higher and further. Which, of course, also applies to sprinting. So, boop. Oh, oh, never mind. Now, normally, if I were sprinting here without any type of modification on jump velocity or height, I would still not be able to get up there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, see? You get significantly higher. You get almost all the way up there just on the first jump. I wish you could uh, sprint or run faster moving backwards or sideways. They also took out um, fall damage. I do remember fall damage being a thing. high as I can. gonna jump one, two three okay so there's no more fall damage interesting oh hey I didn't know you were here oh, okay um, is that it for the boots was one more This one is interesting also. You gain stealth. What is it? Every f every 10 seconds you get a 5 second uh, stealth thing. Which is negated if you try to attack. But it lasts 5 seconds. And it, it passively kicks in on its own every 10 seconds. So it would be a 10 second cooldown. And then the duration will last for 5 seconds, and then when that 5 seconds is up, you get another 10 second cooldown. 
So it's super interesting. So you can just kind of chill and hide. That is it for boots.